Hi, I'm Bruce Lansky. I dreamed up a story about a baby bird named Early Birdie, who wakes up early one morning to find its mother gone. Early Birdie looks down and sees its mother catching a worm. And Early Birdie thinks, wow, I wish I could catch a worm just like my mommy. Then a little one saw, big one saw a worm. So he pulled, pulled, pulled how he can. He didn't get it. So he pulled, 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 then he got it. It may look to you as though Bella is reading, but Bella's only three. She doesn't know how to read words yet, but she's reading the pictures and doing a great job of telling the story. It always puts a smile on my face when I watch Nomi read because Nomi is so excited. Every child has their own unique way of telling the story. And every time you open up the book, you're going to tell it differently, which is perfectly okay. There's no one right way to do it. Eat it, eat it, and find it. Hey, ouchie. You hurt my owie tail. That's not my worm. That's my tail. It's the mouse's tail. Oh no. What's happening? The little mouse got a boo boo on his tail. Why does he have a boo boo on his tail? Because he pulled it. Who pulled it? The bird. Oh. One of the things that's interesting about Adriana's narration is the interaction between Adriana and her mother. When Adriana gets stuck, her mother can make a suggestion or a prompt or ask, suggest that Adriana takes another look at one of the pictures to see some new clues that she may have missed in the first place. It's a collaboration between parent and child or teacher and child. And what comes out of that is great relationship and the fun of reading together with your child. And a blue one car found the worm. Then his nose got stuck in there. And he's sad because um because he didn't get his worm. Josh is learning to read and he's extremely observant, almost like a scientist, in describing what he sees. He does a great job. And every child of every age is going to bring different things to this process. I like watching Tavin's narration because there's a moment when he starts scrolling back and forth on his tablet to almost as though he's trying to figure out the best way to understand and then tell the story. And every time Tavin <laughs> goes back to the story, I'm guessing he's going to find another way to tell it. Picture reading books are meant to be read to, with, and by children. And the thing that's really interesting about it is that it gives your child a sort of shortcut to reading. Gets your child to experience what it's like to read a story even though they don't know words yet. That's why I'm so excited about this idea. Think of all the children who are three, four, five, and six who either haven't learned to read yet or who may be learning to read or may be struggling with reading. Suddenly, they discover picture reading and they say, hey, I can do this, and they feel more confident. And they learn to really like books and they want to, can't wait to read the next picture reading book. You've got them hooked. Can we please do it again? And that's what the idea is. To get children excited about reading, to get them to experience the fun of reading, and to do that together with their parent or teacher and have that be a really fun bonding experience. Is that the end? Yep. The end. The end. That makes reading 
a pleasure for both you and your child or you and your students. Early Birdie Gets the Worm will be available in bookstores near you. All three picture reading books are now available online in ebook form.